Since its launch in July 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope has made stunning discoveries that are turning our understanding of the universe on its head. Now it's coming across a structure that, according to previous theories, should not exist, calling into question the entire Big Bang Theory. What really was in the beginning? To understand the early universe, we must go to the point where time and space as we know them today did not even exist. According to the Big Bang Theory, all potential remained in a state of perfect equilibrium. Considered with our physical measuring methods, this state corresponds to the great nothing. By a minimal shift, the universe then arose from a single starting point. You can imagine this point tiny, tinier than all points we could see with the naked eye. And at the same time, this point corresponded to all points that will ever exist. With the Big Bang, cosmic inflation began instantaneously. The entire universe shot apart as an unimaginably hot and dense soup. We don't know whether space came into being only thereby, or whether this already existed before. Already the very first phase of inflation corresponded to a 90-fold multiplication. Within a fraction of a second, the cosmos grew at the moment of the Big Bang from subatomic size to that of a golf ball. After that, the growth of the universe continued until today. The universe cooled down minimally, but according to previous calculations, it was much too hot for 400,000 years to form matter or light. The era of the light becoming lasted allegedly more than 500 million years. First stars were formed, which at the beginning still shone individually in the universe or formed wild, disordered star clusters. Galaxy structures with a high order in spiral or disk form are supposed to have existed only after about 1 billion years or even later. But now the James Webb Space Telescope has found at least six galaxies that were fully formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. That is a scientific problem. A team of researchers from the University of Minnesota has even discovered what is actually a tiny galaxy that gave rise to an extremely large number of new stars for its size. The galaxy's volume is only about one millionth that of the Milky Way, but it formed about the same number of stars per year as our galaxy at the time it emitted the light we can see today. The other five galaxies also showed features very differently from what researchers had expected. This shows a very different picture of the early cosmos than previously thought. Studying these early galaxies will help scientists find out more about how and when the first stars and galaxies formed after the dark era of the universe. Currently, there is a growing question as to whether the time period just over 13 billion years ago really shows the beginnings of the cosmos, or whether we also need to completely rethink the age of the universe. Cosmic Revolution Thanks to James Webb Space Telescope When the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, was launched, it was clear to scientists all over the world that the unique new technological possibilities would bring completely new impressions of the cosmos. This was, of course, desired, and exactly why NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European ESA had invested about $10 billion. After Hubble had already brought us closer to the vastness of the cosmos for more than 20 years, the successor telescope was to look even further into space. The range of James Webb corresponds to at least 13.5 billion years. Thus, the new telescope does not look much farther than its predecessor Hubble could, but Webb's view is sharper. Researchers can study objects billions of light years away only by minimal shifts in their light emissions or by redshift. The sharper the image, the better measurement results come out of the analyses. Naturally, astronomers wanted to use the new telescope to learn more about the stars and galaxies that were present shortly after the universe was formed. Studying the first stars and galaxies is one of the primary goals of the JWST mission. The Oldest Black Hole Scientists have made another sensational find with the James Webb Telescope. 
they have discovered a structure that could be the oldest known black hole in the universe. Thanks to the telescope's ultra-high power sensors, the structures that reveal the presence of a black hole have been detected for the first time at a time about 570 million years after the previously thought Big Bang. Black holes are the relics of old, dead stars. On top of that, this fascinating structure is also a supermassive black hole. So it's likely that several black holes have already collided here and merged into one. Another possible scenario would be the explosion of a very large and massive star. But if these events already took place 570 million years after the Big Bang, this means that the stars which formed the black hole at their end of life must have been much older. Astronomers today already know that the first stars probably had quite short lifetimes. Blue supergiants may have burned up after only a few hundred thousand or million years. Nevertheless, this does not explain the existence of a black hole of these proportions so soon after the Big Bang. The discovered six galaxies, which were already so highly structured, bright, and rich in stars at the alleged beginning of time, also speak a completely different language. To form such galaxies takes time. Our own galaxy was probably once not more than a collection of some stars. Then a cluster of stars formed. Exploded stars formed black holes. These collided and grew into larger and larger black holes. Eventually, gigantic black holes began to pull more and more stars into their vicinity. Their gravity pulls the surrounding structures into disk or spiral shapes and galaxies form. This process takes billions of years. The question of how the black holes in the cosmic twilight could grow so large in such a short time and the question of how there were completed galaxies 200 or 300 million years after the Big Bang will keep scientists busy for quite a while. The Galaxy Sears 1019 Sears 1019 was already discovered in Hubble data when a team of scientists was searching for the oldest light traces of star formation. This first light is called Lyman Alpha Emission in scientific circles. This radiation is produced by the ionization of neutral hydrogen. According to previous assumptions, the early universe was long filled with a nebula of neutral hydrogen, which prevented the light from spreading. Only after this hydrogen was ionized could light flow freely. This process of reionization is until today a mystery of science, and possibly it never existed. All theories and cosmic models are since JWST on the test stand. Possibly everything which researchers assume so far is wrong. JWST's extremely powerful infrared instrument was able to take a much closer look at Sears 1019 and the supermassive black hole in this ancient galaxy than Hubble. And again, the researchers were in for a surprise. Galaxies of this age normally emit light only from early star formation. But this galaxy showed traces of light from star formation and a black hole. The black hole itself does not emit light, but the dark giants gather matter around them in a very special way, and this matter glows. Sears 1019 showed both kinds of the light emission, and also this circumstance should not exist in reality. The researchers are now faced with riddles and more mysteries than ever before. For more than a few branches of astronomy and cosmology, these discoveries mean that decades of work are gone, theses could be recalculated, and textbooks rewritten. Imagine you've just left school, your degree in your pocket, and you're rejoicing. Then someone comes along and tells you that everything you learned about physics, mathematics, and chemistry was a mistake. That's exactly how researchers around the world have felt since the JWST began sending fascinating but perplexing data to Earth. Meanwhile, the strange discoveries are not stopping, and only continuing. More unusually large black holes have been found in the early universe. Among them is J1342 plus 0928, discovered 690 million years after the Big Bang and containing a supermassive black hole. The center of this early one-quasar galaxy is 800 million suns in size. 
Another black hole was found in the galaxy J0313-1806. This one already existed 670 million years after the Big Bang and has a supermassive black hole, which is 1.6 billion times bigger than the Sun. Is the Big Bang disproved with it? For many astronomers and space fans, after these stunning discoveries, it's already certain that the Big Bang theory has been disproven. But the world of science still resists, so far, such statements. For almost 100 years, the theory of the Big Bang appeared to be coherent, and many other observations, such as the expansion of the universe and data from the cosmic background radiation, seemed to confirm such assumptions. Researchers are not quite ready to abandon the Big Bang. After all, it would be conceivable that the birth of the universe simply happened much longer ago. Perhaps our cosmos is 15 or even 20 billion years old. Just as well, it can be that the universe behaved completely differently in the beginnings than has been assumed so far. It could have cooled down faster. There were stars, galaxies, and black holes much earlier. Currently, Teams of scientists around the world are working to reconcile the new findings with the old theories. Whether this will be possible or whether the JWST will finally do away with the theory of the Big Bang, we will know in a few months or possibly in the next few years. We thank you for watching today. We hope you liked the video and enjoyed the conversation. Lastly, tell us what you think about the Big Bang theory. Is the theory still tenable for you in the light of these new facts?